Hey guys and gals, how goes it? My name is Jamora, welcome back to Firewatch. There might be a, another video or two of The Witness coming out soon. I've been kind of working on it in my free time. As soon as I figure out how to get to one place, I should be good. But in the meantime, I'm going to work on this. I forget how to play it already. Stairs are this way. I can't run up here. Anyway, I'm going to keep these at one day apiece. Like one in-game day, unless they're ridiculously long. I like them to be under an hour. But I like that kind of pacing, and it's kind of like a uh, video journal of this guy. It's already getting dark. Okay. Now that I'm playing this, all I can think of is the uh, trailer for Hardcore Henry. It's like a movie that looks to be in like first person shooter type for angles. It's like recorded in first person. It looks just like a video game. It's over the top and ridiculous. And I cannot wait to see it. I don't know if it's going to be any good or not, but it's going to be fun. There's a cistern. It's pretty neat. Can I turn this on? I never knew spigot was spelled with a G. I always thought it was like, you know, CK kind of thing. Right, can I take one of these? If it's just one of these would be a lot better. No. Do I need any more? That's the cistern again. Yeah, I don't think I do. Still a little sick. So, the humming in the background is still there for the humidifier. Keeps me from sounding like a chain smoker that's been at it for 40 years. Get up there. Fix this window. Nice. Go away, Rocket League. Not right now. I'm doing a thing. I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Not now. I'm gonna go walk around again. Not fine, say it. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long term <clears throat> commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. Uh -huh. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. It's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Okay. Jumping to day nine. Was not expecting that. I thought there'd be some kind of follow-up to the wire being cut. Uh, yeah. So... The whole plan about one day at a time, right out the window. Mmm, sandwich. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Yeah, sure. Good sandwich. Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. You should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, 
mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? No, that's horrible. I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Something happened to him. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. Alright, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Something happened to them. I should be out looking around her. Day 15. I'm out of sandwiches. Coffee's running low. Times are desperate. I ran out of monologue. Please load faster. Please. This is going to be fairly unedited, too. Because I don't know what to cut out. I'm not that good at this part. Henry. Henry, wake okay. up. Okay. Sure. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. I'm coming, Delilah. Hold your short shorts on. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Oh, uh, what? Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm. I am. Are you having a nice time? Sure. I'm confused. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Well, that's good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <laughs> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Is he going mm, crazy? Sure. Bye, baby. Day 33. Sanity waning. Coffee is gone. Might have to kill a bear for more savages. Unless his name is Yogi. Then we shall work together to steal the picnic baskets. Yeah, I was here before. He's got some big, meaty hands. Boink, boink. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Yes. Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90-degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Actually, I prefer the hike. Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. Mm, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Hey -oh. Well, we are in Colorado. I'm just saying. So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night? You were sleeping, I guess, and... Yeah. All I heard was the name Jules through Sleepwalking, the Sleepwalking, maybe? I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought... Maybe you were having a nice conversation, and... I'd just be spoiling it. Good news. This I hope you're doing over. okay. You know, when it comes to her. Uh, I really shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. <coughs> no, you didn't. We all fuck up. Still. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> Javier. I was with this guy. Javier. Javier. Uh, he's incredible. Caring. Sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly, and I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Waltz was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. Hmm. And um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and I didn't come home. <coughs> Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came
came back, she left me. I came out here, I lied, and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. Hey, I gotcha. just lied about it for over ten years. And, uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. Because we're communicating. I figured you've told me so much about Bonding, you. Bonding, you know? So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. She's a little more forgivable though. Some people just aren't good with the whole loss type thing. I don't know. Maybe that's just me talking aloud. Let's pick up the pace a bit. Hey wait. Wasn't there something about thoroughfare in this box? I thought she gets her stuff delivered. Hmm. Strange. Tree stump. Found it. Found the supplies. Oh good. Uh, enjoy. No, it's Bruce and Moss Peak. Not yet. I'm gonna take a little look around here. Where's that path? What is this? This is interesting. Oh, way over there. Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Oh, well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Oh. Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! Oh, really? Yeah, I got, I got, um, I got eyes on a tornado! I gotta get out of here! Yeah. A tornado in the heart of the Rockies? I know, right? Yes! Some scary shit. Holy moly, I need to call this in! Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado! He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility? There haven't been tornadoes in the greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years? You're gonna need him to stay and take a detailed personal account even if it means giving his life? Okay, I'll tell him. Sorry, Hank. No dice. Oh, Man. Oh, that's the end of this path. End of day. Alright, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. It better be coffee. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? I'm Batman. Day 64. It's been a month since he got his supplies. He's get some more. And there better be coffee in there. Good coffee. Daddy needs his coffee. Come on, loading screens. I have no monologue. Nothing has happened. Uh-oh. You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but... I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And... She doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny, or something practical, or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Hmm. Hmm. Flapjack. Uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. I like Flapjacks. Fair enough. Flapjack Fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. That'd be funny. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? Skinny dip. Oh, what's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then on 
nice like tonight when it is so disgustingly hot. I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. Now you're talking. You'd like it there. I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. I'm not hitting on her. It is. <coughs> Are you looking at the fire? Yes. Yeah, I am. It's pretty. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Evidence. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Me too. Good. Mm. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I don't a wow wow. I know it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. <laughs> I don't mean to get all heavy, but it's been really nice. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. We could sit outside. We could talk. Without these radios, we could, um... You know... Hey, now. I'm gonna let that one slide. We could just watch this fire. It's gonna burn for a long time. Still a married man here. Day 76. Day 10 of the Great Fire. Flapjack is out of control. Two women still missing. Bears, probably well fed. Need something interesting to happen. Getting bored. Hello, You're going guy. fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Ooh. Well, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? <clears throat> there mean? was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Sure, get attacked by a bear. Uh, sure, no problem. Remember me fondly. You were such a drama queen. Yeah, well, I've seen what they can do to a tree, and trees aren't even food. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will take this bear down. Oh, a butterfly. So pretty. I want a picture. Good enough. Okay, I'm here already. The trash is gone. I must have cleaned it up. There's got to be an axe somewhere where I can chop this crap down. And look at it. Oh, those orange thorns. So tempting. What I want. I have to go beat down the bear. Have me a bear sandwich. It's not poaching if he attacked me first. I don't remember coming through here before. Oh, wait, yes I do. And is it still poaching if I grill the fish? What the hell's here? Hello. Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. It could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. What? The, uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Where are you going? Someone has written down what we said to each other. Have been saying. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. Rainbow strike. No way. Fire out. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry! I'm worried. What was that static noise? You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Wait. You kill Paul McCartney to bring back Jimi Hendrix. Let me know, okay, Buckaroo? Oh god, Three. I don't know why I just called you that. This is creepy. Wait. Is that a duck? Hi, duck. Am 
Only one duck. Very loud duck. Finally, something interesting. This is getting creepy. I found a walkie talkie out here, too. Uh, okay. It's going shit house. Well, get it if you haven't already, and then we'll figure out whose it is. <coughs> oh! Ow! hit in the head, punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. Somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti hey, Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Uh, <coughs> Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's, it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you, are you sure you saw what... What you saw, Henry. Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they hmm. came back to sucker punch you. This just oh, this just seems like a like a misunderstanding or something. Look, I know what I saw. Hey, it was our words with initials for our names, H and D, clear as day. And you've been feeling okay? Except for I now. Feel fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry, I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, oh, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with the walkie-talkie taking notes and talking Maybe. to God knows who. What the hell do you think is going on at this place? Following you around taking notes, which is unfucking believable, Henry. Why are you telling me? All right, I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There, there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, yeah. bigger than okay. it gets smacked upside the head. picture that duck. Let's see. Whoppy. What the hell? Hey, shouldn't uh, it be a me coast? C instead of G for Italian? I don't know. What is what is what is going on? Old sweater. Can't pick it up though. Another one of these Richard Sturgeon murder things. Examine. Murder books. What? I don't understand what's going on here. They're all over the place. All from the same author. <coughs> there you are, Mr. Duck. Hi. Any more ducks? One noisy duck. What is this green dust that shows up? Okay, way over here somewhere. 
right? Anyway, I went past it. This has got an interesting. So I'm gonna leave this one here. I'll keep this one shorter because this might get very involved. But yeah, getting smacked in the head by people. Well, what's up with that? I'm just trying to watch out for fires. Well, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy it, hit that like button, subscribe for more. It helps me out a lot. And as always, there's more on the way. But until then, have yourselves a good one.